it's going to be hard to say goodbye to high res when that day comes because this is my, you know, I, it's I kind of your home now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and I haven't had a job this long. Like I'm almost feeling antsy because I've just I've lived in like four cities in the past decade, had a couple dozen jobs. It's like two and a half years of one job. Wow, that's can right. you just like, like a relationship? Take a sabbatical and go sit in a closet somewhere and and design like. Halloween decorations and get you know all I get enough out PTO. I could probably back, do something. You know? Yeah, I could probably try that. I just need to do this for me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of artists do that, actually. But I mean, not 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 to the silly point that you're talking about, but a lot of artists do that. Take uh, a sabbatical. Well, or they just they simply work on personal projects mm-hmm. in order to get away. Even if they love their job, I mean, there's aspects of my job that I love. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are things that I just can't do there that I itch to do creatively. Yeah. You know, video is one of them actually. Yeah. So that's fair. So, you know, well, like with two week patch cycles, there's mm-hmm. a bit of a formula involved mm-hmm. and I, I know it's kind of paint by numbers. And so it takes a modicum of like intention to really keep doing creative work just mm-hmm. because you know exactly what's expected. And, you know, I don't want this to sound wrong, but you know what you can get away with. And so you have to personally have it uh, just a, an agenda to try to push your own limits and keep keep pushing it a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's a lot of fun. Hey, thanks for checking out our podcast. Uh, smash that like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and come back next time. Mm-hmm.